In this video for peritoneal dialysis, we'll discuss what the RN needs to do the third time they go into the room. This includes the disconnect phase. Begin by ensuring that the peritoneal dialysis in progress sign is still on the door. Then, like we do before every stage, make sure that all three clamps are closed. Once again, we're going to be opening the system up to air, so ensure that everyone in the room is wearing a mask. Now you'll need to open a brand new Baxter mini cap. Take the patient's transfer clamp, unscrew it from the ultra bag system, ensuring that the clamp opening is always pointing down, and screw it onto the mini cap. With the system closed, everyone can now remove their masks. We next need to assess our drainage fluid. We'll begin by looking at clarity. And to do this, we'll use the same method we used when we were assessing the dialysate bag. Take your fluid and place it over any paper that has writing on it. If you can read the writing through the fluid, this is clear. If you can't, it's cloudy. Next, you'll look at the color of the fluid. And finally, you'll look for any sediment. Sediment will often appear as thin, wispy strands known as fibrin strands. In order to measure the amount of fluid that was drained from the peritoneal space, we'll need to weigh it. You can use the spring scale we ordered from CSPD. We can see that this bag weighs 2300 grams, but what does this tell us about the amount of fluid in the drainage bag? With the metric system, we know that one milliliter of water is equivalent to one gram. So if we have 2300 grams of fluid, that is equivalent to 2300 milliliters. We can now dispose of the fluid. Start by cutting an opening at the top of the drainage bag. Then go to your nearest toilet and dump that fluid into the toilet and flush it. Be sure you save your ultra clamps because these will be used for every transfer for this patient during their stay. This fluid transfer is now complete, but you'll still need to chart your data and results in Epic.